Hello and welcome to today's virtual lab. Lab 4, face change, a chem mystery. Ooh. In this, ah, in this test tube right here, I have this white waxy solid substance. And we need to identify what that white waxy solid substance is made of. Now, in order to do that, we're going to melt this. And then we're going to let it cool, and every 30 seconds you'll record the temperature. Now, what are some white waxy substances we could be dealing with here? Well, let's see. We have capric acid, lauric acid, malic anhydride, naphthalene, palmitic acid, paradichlorobenzene, or stearic acid. And they all have their own unique freezing points between 31 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. Now, because every substance has its own unique melting point, by melting this, and freezing points the same temperature, and letting it cool, you'll be able to figure out what the freezing point temperature is, and therefore be able to figure out what this white waxy substance is. So I'm going to take the test tube and place it in the rack, like so. Place the thermometer in so that you can read it. OK. Now what I need you to do is record the thermometer to the nearest degree every 30 seconds. Don't try worrying about getting to the tenths place. Let's just get it to the nearest whole number. And where you're going to record it is in your lab on this data table here, starting with zero. Record the temperature, and then every 30 seconds until you've reached 21 and a half minutes, you'll record the temperature. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we are going to start this process at 80 degrees. It's coming upon 80 degrees right now. So we're going to get ready to hit that start button. As soon as it hits 80, you can go ahead and write 80 in the box for 0, 0.00 minutes. And we're going to start it right now. OK, so every 30 seconds, record the temperature.
second to last one is coming up. Okay, only one more and we're done. Okay, got it? Now, if you missed any, just rewind the video and watch that data point again. Take a look at this. The substance has completely re-solidified. All right, so now it's completely re-solidified and we can go ahead, make sure you've got all of your data recorded and then you can create a graph. Now, when you graph your data points, you're going to put temperature on the y-axis and time on the x. Then don't forget to put circles around your data points, and then you're going to create three lines. Where the temperature remained the same the longest, connect those dots with a single straight line. Then you'll connect the end of that straight line all the way to the end, totally bypassing any of this. This represents the temperatures at which it was a solid. Then in the front, you'll connect it to where the slope begins to slow down. You can ignore the steep slope in the beginning, or you can include it, it doesn't really matter which, and then that will be where your liquid was. So underneath where the line is straight with no slope, that is where your freezing takes place and you can use that to identify the freezing point. So what is the freezing point? Now make sure that you're also marking all of these, checking all of these off as you actually label them on your graph. What is the temperature, the freezing point? Based on the chart at the beginning and that freezing point, what is the identity of your pure substance and explain how you arrived at that conclusion. And then there are some more questions to answer and then you can go ahead and submit this lab. That is lab four, the heat, I'm sorry, phase change, a chem mystery. <laughs> Until next time.